Hey guys, welcome back. Happy Saturday. It's PTCGL time. We're gonna see if we can play some games. Hopefully the game functions. Hopefully we get some good matches. We can always we can always hope. Our pro profile is still glowing. I gotta I gotta respond to those friend requests. Maybe we'll have to do uh, sort of a a viewer viewer battles for some of these weekend videos. Be kind of cool. Do a best of three. Be tough. A little bit tough though, uh, depending on like matchups, I guess. Whether it's a good or a bad matchup. All right, let's uh, let's get some heads going here. My wild coin. We got the heads. We're going. We're going in. We want to go first. Uh, hopefully, we get a good starting hand with the crowbat with the gape jaw. I was also. Should really also look at uh, swapping out a couple cards in the deck itself. I think there's a couple good options that have that have popped up recently that I'm thinking about trying out. But for the time being, we're sticking with the uh, the one that we had before. We do not have. We just we basically just have a bunch of search. Uh, we took a little bit of the utility out uh, because it wasn't being utilized, ironically, and. Uh, We'll see. See how it goes. Hopefully, all right. We're playing against the the Apple deck. Holy crap! What is this? All right, this is not good. All around, not good. We got a whole bunch of nothing that we can use in our hand. So, going first, not a great idea. But it's okay. Maybe we can. Um, Maybe we can recover from this. I think we, I think we Marnie. We don't really want to discard all those like evolution Pokemon that we don't necessarily need them, but I feel like it's a pretty rough start if we start. Uh, holy mother of, mother of dogs. All right, so if we go Marnie and we go damage pump and we go done. We're doing this the hard way, guys. This is this is definitely not how you want to start off, but it's how we're going to uh, how we're going to do it. We we got no damage on the board because we need a gape jaw. We got, at least we got a dark asset here. Next turn we can Zoroark, so we don't really need any of that search. We can air balloon. We can retreat the halucha. We got a switch. Um. Hmm. 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 Um, the switch and escape rope are kind of important. We can void return for 30 damage. Unfortunately, that's not going to knock them out. It's too bad we don't have a uh, choice belt on the Zoroark. That would have been perfect. Again, next turn we'll have to, to start popping off. We don't really want to uh, put anything else in the active. We could have put the Halucha in the active uh, just to force them to take one prize or to boss out you know, one of our other Pokemon. But uh, we'll see. We'll see what's going on here. I think we're gonna be. I think we're gonna be fine. All right, they're lancing us, searching their deck for three dragon Pokemon, revealing them and putting them into their hand. All right, we got barfing apples. Probably barfing apples, flying apples. Again, this is a scenario where um, they're gonna do 160 to us, or they're gonna do was it 50 damage per ability? So we want to not play abilities if we can avoid it. Damage pump would be pretty sick, nasty right now. Um. <laughs> uh, okay, let's go Ultra Ball. You and you. We're gonna get. We can. We can load up the Zoroark since it doesn't have an ability, and then we can just evolve it later, just so that we're not taking extra damage. We wanna we wanna make sure that he has to three shot us. What does the um the, the flap will do again? This is uh, recording this in the morning. I feel like I'm still half asleep, and I should remember what the. Oh no, that's the flap. That, that's the flap ball. What does the? It's the barfing apple, the apple tan. Yeah. 
All right. Um, we can do 30 damage with Tick and Curse. We need damage on things. We need damage on things. Um, research. Good job. Uh, air balloon is not gonna do it for us. Unfortunately, we don't have we don't have any Gengars in the discard pile, so we're not gonna do what we need to do here. I feel like I did not play that quite right. They're gonna do another hundred damage to our Zoroark, which is upsetting. We can air balloon him and retreat him after he takes the next. All right, let's. Go. We gotta make sure he's gonna do special energy. Okay, so we want minimal special energy attached to our Pokemon as well. We're taking a, a little bit too long to get set up here, which is kind of sad. I think we just sacrifice the Zoroark, and then next turn we're gonna have one ready to go. The only problem here is the fact that. I think we gotta set up the second one now. The problem is we don't have damage because our Gape Jaw was a little late to the party. So we're gonna have to um we're gonna have to research our Gengar away. Alright. We have damage pump now. Sick. Two damage pumps would have been ideal. Oh, we should have. Oh my god, I messed that up. Should have put one onto the crowbat there. Don't no guys, no judging here. There's no judging. This is a no judge zone. Wow, we um we really we really botched that. Quick ball. Um, we're gonna get another Zoroark again. We can we can put the Zoroarks down. They're fine. They don't have abilities. They don't have a special energy on them. So they're not going to get bamboozled. We got an Ultra Ball. That's going to give us en enough damage anyway, so it's not a big deal. We did mess up there. We should have... Uh, and then we can gradually bring these guys into play. We just got to slowly move them into play. Once we get the... We got to put the energy on. We got to evolve them on the turn where they're ready to fight. And then we're good. So, oh, um, if you get a little too, a little too wild with uh, against that deck, uh, you can. It starts doing massive damage to you. But again, as long as you don't evolve your Zoroarks, and as long as you're not attaching double turbo energies to all of them right away, which is normally what you want to do, you want to get as many set up as possible so that one is KO'd, the next one's coming in to do damage. But uh, you kind of, you kind of just, you gotta. Play it nice and slow with that bad boy. We got a rip Asri. As Asri? Not a good start. We don't want Crobat in the active, and uh, we it's more useful when you can play it onto your bench and draw cards. Uh, if you have it in the active, it's just kind of sitting there. It doesn't have damage on it. We do have a Gape Jaw, though. We will get a, a pump at some point in time, so it'll be okay. We have a switch, too. Um, we might as well get rid of the Marnie, I think, just in case we need the switch, just in case we need... We're gonna be all right. This is this is an okay scenario. We got a double turbo energy that we can attach to the Zoroark. Next turn we can switch in from the Crobat, and um, yeah. So we're just gonna we're gonna leave it at that. It doesn't look like it's an awesome first turn, 
but that was a pretty good uh, first turn. We can evolve next turn, um, so we'll be able to draw cards from that. We got a double turbo energy, so we might be able to actually... Hmm. We might be able to actually use the Ultra Ball, but if we don't use the Ultra Ball, it's not a big deal. The double turbo energy onto another Zoroark is more important. Playing against the also uh, popular, I guess you would call it, popular Lugia deck. It's getting the V-Guard energy. I wish this game would let me look at the cards that are in play. Sure doesn't. Thirty less damage from your attacks from Pokemon V. All right, all right. I, I see ya. Um. So here, uh, I think we're gonna use the switch. Um, and then we're going to. I mean, maybe we would have been better off. Yeah, we would have been better off because now the double turbo energy is kind of gonna get burned anyway. So we might as well. We messed up a little bit there. Should have uh, should have used the the Ultra Ball. All right, we got a baby beaver. It's okay though. We we're doing just fine here. We might even be able to end the game. Damage pump. Where are you? All right, quick ball. The Gengar. And we're gonna get a Zoroark. How much damage are we doing here? Oh, are we gonna be just short? That's gonna suck so bad. Uh huh. We're gonna do 200 damage. Damn it! If we had a damage pump here, we would have ended the game. Unfortunately, just shy because of that crowbat. <laughs> the crowbat is coming back to haunt us. Not cool, crowbat. But it's okay. This is uh, it's pretty pretty. We're doing pretty good here. It's going to give him the chance to put more crap on his board. Holy crap, he has 10 cards in his hand. The entire top of the screen is Pokemon trading cards from his deck. Pretty crazy. Man, so close to, to getting the, the cheeky early win. Would have been nice. We got a lucky energy. Mm -hmm. Does he really not have any... I was going to say, does he not have Pokemon in his hand? Surely, there must be a Pokemon in there. Yeah, it's too bad the Gape Jaw, too. If the Gape Jaw somehow was down before the Lugia, like we could knock that one out in our current state. But we are going to get Beaver. Beaver power. So we won't have... We'll have we'll have extra cards here. We're going to draw one for turn. That'll hopefully let us see a whole bunch more cards. Uh, we can boss. It's pretty, pretty bossa nova. If he tries to hide a Lugia or something. I feel like he's probably going to pick... Uh, oh, yeah. We get the V-Star. We get the Marnie. All right. We're okay with getting Marnie. Not a big deal. Chances are it's going to improve our hand. And it did. Now we can get that extra damage that we needed. Archaeops. We need a Choice Belt, really. Um, would be nice. Pumpkaboo. A little Pumpkaboo on the bench. What does he do? It's to discard a stadium. Is that... Is people playing that? Is that really the best option? Alright, so he's going to do Lugia things with the Archaeops. We can, next turn, probably pretty easily set up another Zoroark, just in case we get KO'd. This Lugia, even if we don't have the uh, the Choice Belt, we are, we are going to be able to knock it out because it is 80 HP. Um, just really unfortunate that uh, that we couldn't knock it out before, before they got anything set up, really. All 
All right, Lugia on the bench, getting powered out. 220, we're still, we're living. Living, for sure. All right, we got Gape Jaw, we got Damage Pump. All right, what's, what's, the, what's the play here? Um, I think we set up our second Zoro arc with this and unfortunately this, because I think we prioritized the pump there. Um, all right, second Zoro arc. And damage pump. Uh, let's take one of you off of here. And um, I, I don't know, let's we'll put this on the Gengar for fun. Um, doesn't really matter. We probably could have even, like, made this guy a little healthier. Would have been pretty cool. Alright, so just in case he gets the second Lugia set up, we're going to be ready for him. We did get a Gabe Jaw back, which is pretty sick. We got an Evolution Incense. We can get a Beaver. We can evolve our Beaver. Nice. Um... We don't necessarily need more cards this turn, but we still have 24 in the deck, so we might as well see some more just in case we need them. We're gonna 250 this Lugia V-Star. 450 damage on that bad boy, on that dirty legendary seagull. All right, he's drawing cards with the lucky energies. Thought I was the only person to ever use lucky energies back in the Flareon deck. All right, we're in, we're in good shape. He's gonna set up another Lugia. We still haven't lost a Zoroark. Maybe he's not, is he not playing the powerful energies? I haven't seen any, so I'm assuming not, which means it's gonna be hard for him to knock these out in one hit. Which is an interesting I don't know if, he's, if the deck is modified to play against something that isn't Zoroark. Usually they always have powerful energies. V guard, regen. What does regen do? Okay, you can heal. That's kind of neat. He's going to heal off his 20 damage. Alright, Lugia V-Star. Oh, alright, he's healthy. Interesting. Alright, so we might lose the Zoroark here, but again, we're, we're ahead. We're ahead of the game here. We'd have to be a little bit... Oh my goodness. Um, do we escape rope? I think we escape rope, right? Do you, uh, boss's orders would be pretty sick right now, but we don't have any way to get one. Kaboo out. So I guess maybe we just give him a single prizer. And then when we get a boss, hopefully. Alright. Good damage pump. So we can make this guy a little bit healthier. And then we gonna prof research got a boss's orders nice all right we can choice belt onto another zoro arc we got an ultra ball for next turn or an evo incense nice Mm. 
Um, I don't think there's any damage, other damage that we necessarily want to pump around, but, um, if we we shrink our size of our hand then we can draw some cards to make sure that we have another double turbo JK, we didn't find a double turbo, but we have a Marnie, so maybe we can find it that way. And we'll end turn there. Well, we're gonna force them. We're gonna force them to force them to take out the beaver. This is probably gonna give them a chance to uh, to power up another Lugia, but again, as long as we knock out a Lugia first, then we're good. All right, he wants to bring out the Archaeops because he, he can knock stuff out with it. It's okay. We're, we're okay with sacrificing a beaver. we got to believe. Bit of a long game. Bit of a... Is this going to come down to the wire here? Powerful energy. Oh, okay. I guess he's just going straight up Archae, Archaeops hiding. Boss's orders. Cool. All right, we're okay with that. No big deal. We need a double turbo energy though. Wherever that's hiding. All right, so now we can boss out the Lugia. How much damage are we doing? 230, not enough. We need to put something else on the bench that'll have damage counters on it. We got the Gape Jaw, so we're gonna have another new fresh beaver. We're going to one-shot the Lugia V-Star. See you later, Lugia. Alright, we need to knock out one more Lugia, or I guess two Archaeops. The Archaeops is not going to be able to pump our Zoroark, so that's that's pretty cool. He can do that all he wants. We got another double turbo, we got an air balloon. We need another boss's orders would be cool. Uh, there's one more in the deck. Whether or not that's in the prizes is Another good question. He does have the powerful energy. What is he? What is he doing? All right. So we can retreat. Uh, this one, if it gets low, I don't think it's gonna come down to that. So he's still gonna knock out two of our Pokemon. We only gotta knock out one as long as it can be a Lugia. All right. All right. Beaver, why not? Um, <laughs> now, um, this guy here, 120, what does it do? An extra 20 damage. 140, 160. That's a little scary, but I mean, I don't think it matters. All right, we're just gonna, we're gonna knock out the Archaeops. It's okay. If he takes his oral work, it's not the end of the world. We have another one ready to go. Um, I don't I don't think there's any coming back from this for him. Unless he's got some kind of sneaky deaky. Unless he's got something sneaky up his sleeve. There's no way. Capture energy. Alright. Alright. Speedwing. He's gonna 190s. Ow! I don't think I've ever been attacked by these guys. The first time someone's um, resorted to that, but it's uh, in the end, it's not gonna help them. We uh, there's the boss's orders that we needed. Um, let's style point them, like knocking out a Lugia. We got him. Um. I don't know. I think like even even though we've seen a couple different variations of the Lugia decks, it, I feel like it doesn't it doesn't really spank Zoroark. It's a pretty close matchup. Like if they get set up and they they take the first KO, then uh, like if that Lugia knocked us out, 
maybe this was a chance where it didn't I mean we also got robbed a little bit uh, in that first game all right game number game number three game number three playing against Tyler lull All right, we got it. Do you want to go first? Yes. All right, we got Gabe John, we got Crobat. We are pumping. We are absolutely pumping. This is an awesome first hand. We get the quick ball as well, so we can get another Zoroark set up. Reduce our hand size for the Crobat to give us more cards. We get a boss of Marnie. It's pretty sick nasty. We can't use him on the first turn, but that's okay. We're all right with that. We're playing against we got Gengar Sleeves. Is it a Zoroark deck? That's the question. All right, so first we're going to quick ball. We're going to quick ball the... We're not gonna need a boss this early, I don't think. Um, but we would like another Zoroark, that would be cool. So if we Zoroark here, then we can damage pump. Damage pump, 10 of the damage onto him. That's pretty sick because that's minimum damage. We want damage on him, but we want as little as possible because those are the ones that we're gonna be attacking with. Crobat. We can Evo Incense to nothing, but we can Evo Incense next turn. So we're just gonna we're gonna Crobat. We're gonna leave the Evo Incense alone. Dark Asset, sick. All right. Um. And uh, that's that's kind of all we can do this turn. We can evolve both of these boys next turn. Uh, kind of a shame we don't have a Baby Beaver to lay down, or that one of these wasn't a Quick Ball or something. But it's okay. We're all right. Next turn, we're popping off. They get a Crobat in the active, which is never a good time. Give us those two prizes. They might be playing Zoroark with the Gengars and the Gengar Sleeves. They're playing an Evolution Incense. Oh no, we're playing against, a, it's a Lugia deck. Lugia deck with Gengar Sleeves. Very interesting. Again, if they don't get fully set up here, we might be able to pump them. Also, we got the boss's order, so we might be able to actually pump that Lugia. Remember that Lugia last game? We need that 200 damage so we can knock that out before it even gets going. Which is pretty sick. If we get a little greedy here, um, we're going to Zoroark. We are going to boss out the Lugia. We're getting greedy. We're getting, we're getting real greedy here. All right, let's get, we're gonna put a Gengar, and we're gonna evolve our other Zoroark. Actually, we could double Gengar. We're gonna double Gengar. We're going, we're going for, we gotta make sure that we have a bench full of Pokemon here, and that we have a double turbo energy. Where's the energy? Son of a, son of a gun. Um, we could Crobat again. We could Crobat again. Hmm. Yeah, maybe we damage pump. Put that on you. We just want to use up cards in our hand. Unfortunately, we can't play the Gape Jaw. Um, we can Crobat. We need. We just need the double turbo here. That's all we need, and we can get rid of this Lugia before it even grows into a full seagull. Come on, double turbo! Oh, son of a son of a gun! That is massively unfortunate, and we also don't even have a way to draw cards next turn. Oh my god, that's bad. Um, hmm. 
don't I don't know what we do here, guys. This is just straight up unfortunate. That is very unfortunate. So one card away that we that we saw lots of cards. All we needed was that double turbo energy, and we could have. Uh, Not only that, we helped them a little bit because the Crobat was in the active and couldn't do anything. But we were trying to play the odds. We're now going to get pumped by the uh, Lugia. Unfortunate. So now we need a choice belt and we need the double turbo. We might have, we might have lost this in the worst possible way. So we don't want to lose. We don't want to lose like a strong Pokemon first. Although if we if we were just attacking the Crobat, we still take two prizes. But then he gets this set up. We were trying to like nip this before it could even do anything. Regardless of whether it's a V or a V star, it still gives you the same amount of prizes. And if we can, oh no, the exact damage that they needed to to take out our Zoroark. Unfortunate. Not only that, but we also put him in the active so that he could do that. So, we, it was risky. It was definitely risky. Man, this sucks. I think we just straight up lose this. We we don't have any way to, to draw cards here. We don't have a very good way to do it. anything here. Um, I guess we don't need the damage pump. We already got damage on everything. Oh, we did get rid of our stadium card. Um, I, I, guys, I think we just scooped this one. There's just, there's nothing, nothing we can do here. We can switch out the beaver, try and give ourselves a little bit extra time here. That's about all we can do. We gotta hope that, uh, we draw something to be able to, we're, we're lacking the energies. It's possible that we prized some of them, and that's why we're not seeing them, but just really unfortunate. So we're gonna set he's gonna set up a second Lugia. We only got one Zoroark set up. Well, I guess the second one can be set up next turn. But we need uh, we need a card that lets us draw. We need like a prof research or something. Our beaver is about to go down, unfortunately, or we'd be able to draw cards with the beaver. But we can't give up two prizes, or we are we're, we're doomed. All right, we're getting marnied. We're okay with that. Nothing wrong with getting marnied when you don't have anything in your hand. Choice belts, cape jaw, prof research, ultra ball. Awesome. All right, exactly what we need. Now we just need him to take out the Bidoof, please. Choice Belt is awesome because that lets us knock out the Lugia V-Stars. I don't know. I, I think I was debating putting more Choice Belts in the deck. I always like have thoughts of what I should change or what I should do. Uh, because everyone's playing Lugia, you need the Choice Belt to like one-shot the Lugia V-Star. It's probably a good idea to just have extra Choice Belts. So I might have to swap some of those into the deck. Not sure what to take out exactly. Maybe some of the Search Cards. Some of the uh, all right, all right, all right, all right. We're we're cracking, cracking and sacking now. A little prof research action. Oh yeah, there's all the double turbo energies that we needed. All right, let's set up our second Zoro dog. Second Zoro dog getting set up. We need the choice belt on him. Um, we are gonna need the choice belt on him. Halucha does absolutely nothing. Um, we don't really need anything utility-wise on the on the bench. I mean, if we get bossed, we're kind of we're kind of we're kind of screwed. Um, okay, Pokemon. We got another. We got three Gengars in there. There's lots of Gengars that we can pull out for extra damage. We're gonna need that extra damage. Again, we're gonna need another Choice Belt. Which sucks so much. I don't know how we're gonna find it with the cards that we have in our hand. Uh, maybe we quick ball. We're just gonna thin our deck as much as we possibly can, um, in order to give us a better chance of finding another choice belt. 
That's all we can do in terms of pulling things out of our deck. We're gonna hit this Lugia of Easter. Oh, maybe there'd be one in the prizes. That'd be cool. Right? I think we're kind of we're fighting a lost cause here. With the Blissey. The Blissey's gonna come in and spank Daddy. Yes. What is going on with that Blissey's texture? Okay, it doesn't show it there, but it does. Okay, it doesn't show it there anymore either. There's something weird going on there. The texture got mixed up with something else. All right, put us out of our misery here. Get the double turbo. We just need a choice belt. And then if they, I mean, the, the blissy looks like it's gonna come in extra, extra hot here. Got seventeen thousand energies attached to it. Thirty more damage for each. I think we're, I think we're doomed, guys. I think we're doomed. Again, maybe I don't, I don't know. I could say maybe it's like a 50 50 uh, matchup against the the Lugia, but I, I think I think we gotta we gotta pump some some more extra choice belts into this deck. I might even play four of them. Everything that you run up against right now is Lugia, so we gotta we gotta tech against that. As soon as we do, though, we will not play any Lugias ever. Uh, we don't have a boss. We do have a research though. We have a research, guys. Um, all right, let's put the air balloon on him because everything's gonna get discarded anyway. It's kind of unfortunate that the Lugia like does just enough damage. Sometimes. Choice belt. We got it. All right, so we're gonna lose to the Blissey now, which is pretty unfortunate. But at least we put up a fight. But yeah, I think I think we need more choice belts just so that we can make sure that you know, all three or whatever Zoro works that we get into play, they're choice belting. Give them a, a fighting chance. Blissey with 300 HP, looking extra juicy. It's insane. Oh no, Crobat! Crobat! Anything but the Crobat. So there's kind of like the scenario where they only needed one prize, so they could have even like pulled out any of these guys. So if they, as long as they had anything that could attack, even if it was a Lugia or whatever, we were kind of doomed. Or even the the Archaeops, as we saw in a previous game. So you can't win them all, guys. You can't win them all. If that teaches you anything. <laughs> All right, match rewards, sick, nasty. Let's see what we got for prizes. Hopefully, we got a couple that or a couple packs. Oh, we get some more coins. I keep meaning to go through the shop and see what kind of new crap there is in there too. We got tier twenty-four Silver Tempest edition. Ooh, we did get stuff. We got we got one pack and a bunch more coins. The currency that probably shouldn't even be in the game. Breaks in, Rousey reverse. And a Verizian regular rare. What a spectacular Pokemon card opening virtual edition. Thanks guys for tuning in, regardless. Um, decent games. Good games today. I think we've learned something, and that's everything you're going to play against is probably Lugia. Uh, and sometimes it's, you know, in the rare occasion it's not. But that's what it comes down to. Lugia is a popular Pokemon. It's pretty strong. So you're going you're gonna to see it every day, all day. Alright, take care. Join the Discord. Bye.